Welcome to our Cooking with Como Thanksgiving special. Thanksgiving is a special time of year where we get to celebrate friends and family and express gratitude. And right now, I am very grateful to be standing next to Chef JR in Kitchen Cray. Thank you for having us out today. Yes, thanks for having us and thanks for letting me make your Thanksgiving dinner. There's <laughs> nothing better than a good home cooked Thanksgiving meal. And you're making something a little different than the usual today. Yeah, we wanted to switch it up. So we're going to start off with a little jambalaya, seafood jambalaya. So we're going to add that shrimp in there. Ooh, what's that seasoned with? A little Cajun seasoning, house blend, and some mm. fresh garlic. We're gonna get some shrimp in there real quick. I love jambalaya, and I wanna add that to my Thanksgiving menu from now on. Yeah, you have to. Cause you're always gonna have a few starches, so. You know, I like to have a rice, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, candy yams. So. Yeah, and butter is a staple for yeah. Thanksgiving. That looks amazing. That and doesn't take too long to fry up those shrimp and they're jumbo and delicious. And what's the key to the good rice in the jambalaya? So the good rice is make sure you season your water. Have a nice stock. Mm -hmm. Season your water a little. I'm doing tomato base. Yum. So have that nice. You can add the tomato sauce in there, some uh -huh. salt, pepper, and chicken base, and you good. Oh, that looks amazing. So what I'm going to do is I partially cook the rice. Mm -hmm. We're going to get it in there. And this is something you can even make the night before you can if make you're hosting the night a lot before. of friends and family. Yep, and just throw it in the oven because that's what we're going to do. We're going to throw this thing right in the oven. Nice. And that'll keep it nice and warm, heat it up the next day. You know it's crazy because my grandmother and my mother and everybody, they used to take like three days to do Thanksgiving food. And I'm just like, yo, why is it taking so long? It, it, like the night before, yes. everybody's cutting the collard greens up. I'm just like... Could we focus on everybody doing something different so we could get the job done? But, you know, to them, it was about bringing family together, telling stories, and, you know, cooking came second, you know? Yeah. So. And we got tours in the kitchen with us helping you out. So this is yeah. really fun to have friends and family together. And I feel like your family now because we've been cooking together for so long, and I've been always watching, watching you evolve and take your things to the next level. So that's awesome. Yeah. And all those dreams come true. And having you as a staple in the D.C. community, you know, Kitchen Cray, this is one of my absolute favorite spots. The food is always on point. Thank you. And so we get that going, and then we put it in a nice and then dish we're and put bake it. In it. The, the skillet, and we're gonna bake it. Yep. Oh, so that looks that right so good. Yeah. Look at that. I'm so hungry. You're giving people at home on Thanksgiving yeah. morning all that good inspiration. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to be doing right now. This good food. Mm. So this is almost like a paella. Like, yeah. Because we're gonna throw it right in the oven. I wish everyone get at home nice could smell crispy. this. Hey, Torres, you could throw that in the oven for me. And then right after that, I got my cornbread mix right here, ready to go. You got to have cornbread. And the good thing about cornbread is you can use it for two things. You can use it as cornbread, mm -hmm. or you can make a cornbread stuffing. Ooh. So it's, it's up and to you. And you can even use it as, like, the bread for a leftover sandwich after yep. the fag. And you know, football game come on that Sunday, so you can make some chili and then use it for the chili. See, that's the thing about Thanksgiving. You want to make sure everything can be repurposed because exactly. you put a lot of love into cooking it. So if you have leftovers, you want to make sure you make good meals with it. Yep. Oh, look that at that. Right in there. Oh. Yes. Throw Thank that in you, Torres. Oh, this is so good. And then? Macaroni and cheese. I make the roux every year for Thanksgiving. I went to my aunt's last year and brought the mac and cheese. What kind of cheese do you put in there? So we use four different cheeses. We use sharp cheddar, mild cheddar, mozzarella, and jack. And this is what you, you want, <gasps> that, that cheese pull. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's what the people live for. So we're going to throw that. Because there's nothing worse than getting dry macaroni and cheese. You don't want that dry. You want that nice, silky. This is what you call silky. You see that? That's, mm, man. That's that, that is good. Silk. Yeah. Oh, you get that extra cheesy pull. That extra cheese. That's the stuff then, dreams are made of. I'm going to throw this right on top. And we're gonna throw it in the oven just How like long it's do you a pizza. That? Probably like five minutes to, to it's nice and golden brown on nice. top. Nice. Yep. That looks perfect. All right, and aside from that, you think turkey, right? Everybody's been somewhere where the turkey's a little dry. Dry. So we it's have to switch to dry it, it out. up. It's easy to dry it out because you gotta think about it. The breast is the biggest part. So right. you're just cooking and cooking. And people thinking like if you base it, it's still gonna be dry. So I love the, I'm a wings man. Yeah. So I said, you know what? We're going to do the turkey wings. So, Oh, this pot of turkey wings. And so what man. kind of gravy is that in there? So this is a, a jerk gravy. And you see how tender that is? It's like falling off the bone. Man. Oh, I want to eat that. 
Wait, wait, wait. You want, you want to try it? Yes, can I please? Yeah, you I'm going to make a mess. Oh. I, I got to try a little. Oh, my God. I'm doing turkey wings next Thanksgiving. You got to do the turkey wings. So what do you do? You just cook them low and slow? So wow. what I do, and you mm. taste that spice thing. That's that Caribbean That is like flavor. right on. So you want to bake the turkey the wings first and get it nice and crispy. Yeah. And then you braise it in the gravy. So the gravy is the oil from the turkey, a little bit of flour to make the roux. Right. Some turkey stock, and then add the turkey in and a little bit of jerk seasoning. Put it in the oven for like 45 minutes till it's nice and tender, and you will never have dry turkey again. This is my kind of Thanksgiving. Um, I need to eat a plate of that. I would yeah. actually, this is gonna be gross, I'm gonna admit it, would drink that gravy. It's yes. so good. <laughs> it is so good. And then back here, we have the collard greens. Oh, yes, please. So, if, you know, this is nice, slow cooked collard <gasps> greens. Mm. And here, we have the smoked turkey next, and that's what give it that nice smoky flavor. So you're incorporating turkey in turkey. all the Thanksgiving yeah. classics. Yep. Let's get over here and show everyone. The yams. You gotta have the candy yams. Oh, what's that? This is the honey butter. <gasps> Are you gonna so pour honey butter over it? I gotta pour the honey butter over the cornbread. So oh, this is, this is wow. what we're doing right here. So, yeah, that's just love. You're pouring love all I'm over that cornbread. I'm pouring love on that cornbread right there. Yeah. That's a money that's, shot right that's there. That's straight up just 100% honey and butter. And then you're just going to let like the bread just drink it and soak it up so it's nice and moist for Thanksgiving. That looks so good. I'm yeah. thinking there's so much good food here. We should move out into the dining room and show ourselves a little Thanksgiving feast. OK, cool. So I'm going to do a nice plate up yeah. and show you what your plate should look like for Thanksgiving because I'm tired of seeing the same old dry turkey breasts and sad I'm looking lumpy gravy. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to do a nice Thanksgiving plate up. All right, let's do it. Yeah. So we're going to grab our plate. Got the side bowl. We're going to put our greens in there. Mm. Cuz you don't want the greens to mix in with the with the other stuff. Yeah, right? you don't want it to be like super soupy. Water, yeah, yeah, watery, yep. So you're going to throw your greens in its own little Those look amazing. situation. Throw that on the plate. We're going to grab. Oh, yes. You see that? And it's super oh. tender. Mmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Then I'm going to take it and grab two turkey wings. Oh, my God. This is a special Thanksgiving plate. Super special. Look at that. Extra gravy. Yep. Then I'm going to just throw some scallion right on top of that turkey. And this is what your Thanksgiving plate should look like. And then you have, of course, you have your sides. We're going to have the jambalaya and the cornbread. All right, and let's that's eat. Let's Chef eat. JR, I can't Come wait on. anymore. Mmm. Let's, let's take go. us out to the dining room. This epic Thanksgiving feast looks delicious. Chef JR yes. and Chef Torres, thank you thank so you. much for celebrating the holiday kitchen cray with me. Yes, this is how we do it. Like, in yeah. our family, we got to have that mac and cheese. Oh, look at that you cheese. See? Look, that's <gasps> that real mac and cheese. Want. That's what you want. Yes. So I'm, I'm going to dish out everybody oh, a little thank mac. You. Oh, look at all mac. that good cheese. Yeah. No dry. Oh, my God. Yes. This is the thing. I love cheese, and there's nothing better than macaroni and cheese on my and Thanksgiving cheese. plate. Yeah. And they got to have that cheese pulled. Like, no no dry mac and cheese, please. No, no, yeah. no, no, please. no, no, no. So I'm taking go, a bite. Torres. There you go. Oh, my God. Mm. Yo, that is good. Mm. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. So, oh wow, get I'm getting in there. Jambalaya. I started there, eating before everyone. Out. Yeah, there you go. Right Look at that shrimp and that sausage. I will forever make jambalaya on my Thanksgiving plate now. And, and I feel like the purpose of Thanksgiving is, yeah. you know, to have that family around. I get one right. Tell the stories. Around. It's like the campfire. You're telling your stories. You're eating good food. You know, maybe you're making the little s'mores or whatever. Right. And just catching up with family. Enjoying you can, the time. Exactly. Because you can't see everybody all the time. So this is like one of those holidays where you get to take a break and relax. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you for having us out yeah. today. I'm going to get in, in there yeah. and eat this just turkey. Look. The gravy. Oh. I apologize. I wasn't hesitating. No, don't hesitate. I mean, when you put food like this in front of us, what do you want us to do? I got macaroni and cheese and turkey on my fork. Yeah. We're going to enjoy and stick with us because as our Cooking with Como Thanksgiving special continues, coming up next, we're going to teach you how to make the ultimate Thanksgiving sandwich. But for now, y'all took my breath away with this. Yep. This is amazing. Mm. Wow.
Welcome back to our Cooking with Como Thanksgiving special. We showed you how to make an amazing Thanksgiving meal, but what do you do with all the leftovers? Perfect man to answer that question. This is Matt Baker. He's the owner and chef for 101 Hospitality Group, and we're going to talk about Thanksgiving leftover sandwiches. Yep, every family is different. Everybody has their own little sides and sauces and gravies that they like to do yes. for Thanksgiving. So uh, we have our version we're going to do with some leftover turkey breast. Ready to put it together? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. So we went ahead and we toasted off some brioche, some sliced brioche. And a nice uh, helping of butter. A nice helping of butter, always important. We also seasoned it with salt. You have to season your, your bread when you when It you gets that brown crispiness to it, right? Oh, yes, yeah, perfect. It brings out a nice nuttiness. If you want to help me, this is a, an aioli we made Ooh. using mayonnaise and some herbs. We did the flavors of Green Goddess, so. It's so good. Think tarragon, parsley, chives. A little garlic and go edge to edge. You got to get every bite the same. Ah. Okay, so we're going to start with that. Every bite gets its own fair equal spread. Perfect. That's right. Uh, we're going to do like, made like a little bit of like a, like a cabbage slaw. This is an elevated Thanksgiving sandwich. I love it. A little bit. I mean, I think the trick is, is that like the turkey breast in general tends to be on a little bit on the drier side. Especially once it sits overnight or for totally. two days. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out ways to add a little bit of sauce components or kind of just like some some moisture to it a little bit yeah a little bit so that's why the, i think the slaw will work really well and then we're going to come in here with some of the, the turkey that we're just going to kind of shingle and so you always slice off the turkey too at night when you have the big turkey yeah exactly yeah. if you this is just some gravy Ooh. you could dip the sandwich into the gravy if you wanted to or you could just glaze it like this i like doing both the glaze and the dip on the side you like it saucy yeah i like it saucy everything like that especially a sandwich like this because you know you're going to be eating these for a couple days for sure absolutely and so then this is the leftover cranberry and so this is going to add some sweetness to it wow and obviously the more you add the sweeter it's going to be right the less you add the less sweet it's going to be. This is also going to be a little tart and tangy because mm -hmm. we do add a little bit of vinegar to ours. Oh, I like that. Everybody always has food left over for Thanksgiving, right? So yummy. Uh, you mentioned the, the crispy shallots. Let's do some crispy onions. Can we please? The only time of year you have it at home, right? Yes. And I think the more crispy onions, the better. Boop, boop, boop. Oh. oh. <laughs> so I think we're going to now just fold it up. Yes, let's do that. OK. Fold that oh. on top. And then wow. I'm also a big fan. My grandmother taught me this when I was a kid. Tell me more. You got to do like a little press on the sandwich, right? You got to like push it down a little and bit. Kind of squeeze out the goodness. Yeah, you know, and just put everything in place. Oh, that looks so good. That's great, right? Yeah. And then I'm just going to cut this guy in half. And then this is, I like to call this the grand reveal. So you kind of open it up like that. Oh. Um, that looks pretty money. That could win a sandwich contest. That looks pretty delicious. I would um, proudly serve that at home. Okay. You got to give him that shot. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at the money. That shot. looks money, right? No, try Ooh. It. Can I try it? Yeah. And then we'll have a salad. You want to split it with me? Yeah. We'll take a little bite. Here, you got to do a dunk. Okay. And then we'll do, do a cheers. A Here, dunk and a cheers? cheers? Okay. Dunk. All right. Dunk. Cheers. Cheers. All right, here you this go. This is the best cheers I've ever had. Okay. CMB at home, Thanksgiving leftover sandwich right here. Mmm. Wow. Wow. That's pretty special. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did because I'm not normally a sweet person. Yeah. But that cranberry has such a tart flavor to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. That is perfect. We also have a salad for our vegetarian friends. Yeah, for sure. So I mentioned earlier that Thanksgiving generally is like, you know, everybody's favorite sides coming yes. together for one day. So I thought this would be a cool way of taking your sweet potatoes and your hummus. Ooh. Making a little bit of a mix here. I will definitely try this. So let's give that a stir. Go to okay. mess that up. So we have some baby carrots. These have already been roasted fully and cooked fully. Perfect. If you just want to kind of cut those yeah, up. Yeah, sure. Wow, look at that. Ooh, these are the perfect consistency. They're not too hard. Yeah, those are great. There we go. All right, this is just some Tuscan kale. Nice. So we're just going to add all of our vegetables to this. Great. So this is roasted parsnips. If you want to put those carrots in there. Yeah. These are the Brussels sprouts that, like I said, these are roasted. They're crisp to perfection. Yeah. That right. is the ideal Brussels sprout right there for me. This is roasted butternut squash. Mmm some beets in here. I do like beets in a salad. If you want to just crumble these up, those are going to be walnuts. Yeah. Just what do kinda, you want me to Just kind of like break them up with your hands like. Oh yeah. Oh look at this. This is yeah. fun. So I put some some dried cherries in there. Yum. These are going to be dried dates. Okay. Same thing. Just add some sweetness to go with the root vegetables. Then, we'll add these and then we will go ahead and give it a mix. Okay. So we have a um, whole grain mustard maple vinaigrette. Oh, wow. So I always dress the outside of the bowl. OK, that's a good tip for me. It doesn't weight down the salad. We're going to do some salt in here. Perfect. A little bit more. I love the salt. You want to give that a mix? Yeah. 
and mix from the outside in, I guess. Exactly. Just going to slowly fold everything together. And the kale is going to be a little fibrous, so it's going to give you some texture with the rest of the roasted vegetables. And then you plate it, and then we put the yes. hummus on top. We're going to do a bed of the hummus. And that's going to add a little bit of a richness to it. Oh, I see. This is fancy. I would have done it backwards. I like this. So kind of go in the middle here. Nice. So we have the sweet potato hummus mix yeah. plated in the center. You, you could really impress your family by making this the leftovers the next day. That's right. You could totally add some spices to this if you wanted to. If you want to yeah. add some, you know, cayenne pepper mm. or any type of spice blend to that, you could. Oh, that sounds good. And then you're going to have the kale here. And so you want to kind of do a little bit of a... Just be mindful of the ratio. So you want to have some kale in the middle. And then some of the other veggies on the outside. Yeah, exactly. So you want to showcase all that, right? You want to showcase your, your Brussels sprouts. You want to showcase your Look carrots. Look at that. You want to showcase the beets in there. A healthy Thanksgiving leftover alternative. I know, right? Looks awesome. That's beautiful. Let's see if we can just do some Brussels sprouts. I mean, this is a great way to clean out your fridge. There's a lot of different varieties you can do with this, variations you can do. And so I think that looks pretty... Oh, my goodness. Pretty killer. I'm so impressed. Look at that. Got to show the camera this masterpiece. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Okay. Yep. I want to get in on that. It looks like fall, right? It does. It looks like fall. Oh, we forgot the onions. Oh. Some sage on there. Oh, that's perfect. I think we need to finish our sandwiches. I think mine's the one with the bite that's twice your size. Okay, perfect. I took a TV bite. I'll, I'm going to double. I won't double dip, so I'll dip the other side. See, look at that. Thanksgiving. Matt, this was a pleasure. I'm Thank going to take you. a bite of this, but also keep in mind, Cooking with Coma Thanksgiving special continuing after the break with desserts, because you can't forget desserts. That's right. Exactly. AJ's going to throw down an amazing cake. Exactly. Thanks. Mm. 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 to our Cooking with Como Thanksgiving special. The show would not be complete without dessert. This is Asia. She's the executive pastry chef at Michelle's at the Eaton Hotel. And what do you have for us here? Because this looks like something I could handle. You could absolutely handle this. This is about as easy as it gets if you want to do something that's kind of like look super fancy but isn't super time consuming or like gonna use a lot of dishes. So this is a no-bake pumpkin cheesecake. Oh, You could do this super easy. All you're gonna do is mix in a KitchenAid or in a bowl with a hand mixer. Cream cheese. I like to use sour cream for this one. You can use creme fraiche. You can even use yogurt. If, you're tr if you want to like fool yourself into thinking it's healthy, you can throw some Greek yogurt in <laughs> Calories there. Calories don't count on Thanksgiving, <laughs> I feel the same way. I like to use pumpkin spice, sugar, either pumpkin puree or sweet potatoes in there, and mix it up, and then just fold some whipped cream into it. Yeah, whipped cream. Right? I like I know, that. right? Like, and then you just set it, put it in the fridge, and it's good to go. And the crust is my favorite part, too. The crust is kind of like makes the cheesecake. So right. I like a nice thick crust because you need some texture with cheesecake. Mm. This is a gingerbread crust. So Yum. kind of the same idea as a graham cracker crust, mm -hmm. which is the classic. But this has ginger snaps. And I like to throw a little extra clove and ginger in there as well. So that gets baked off first. So that's the only thing you're baking here. You don't have to deal with like a water bath. You don't have you to You could do that ahead of time, right? Exactly. You could do that like two days ahead. Save yourself yeah. some time. So let's decorate this and make it okay. presentable. Because I always say we eat with our eyes, especially yes. on the Thanksgiving table if you're yes. bringing it to someone's house. You want to wow them. Absolutely, yeah. So this is like a super fun way to make this a showstopper. This is a French meringue. Whip this up in the back. It's so easy. It's just egg whites and sugar. Ooh. Um, I'll show you a couple and then if you want to try. Sure. So we're just going to do like these cute little stars around the outside. Oh, like I that, like that. Right? And then what we're going to do after uh -huh. is torch them with this super handy butane torch. These are like $13. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's still beautiful. <laughs> I'll let you take back over. <laughs> It's still beautiful. It's gonna look super. You said torch, and I turned around and ruined the star. Wait, wait do you want to try this? Okay. This is Ooh, very you're easy. Oh, you with fire after I mess up the frosting. Yeah, why not? Okay. This is actually maybe easier than I like frosting. It. So like just super lightly, we're gonna Ooh. just go over the top. Like oh, it that. gives me like um, s'more vibes from right? the fire. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh. That's perfect. Look at this. Okay, so I can easy. get used to this. If I can do this, trust me. Yeah. Okay. And it gives it a little something ah. extra. Sorry, Aaron. No, that's fun. <laughs> Please. Like, here, have some fire. I went a little <laughs> gentle on it because I was like, I'm not ruining this segment. <laughs> no. This is what we made in the back. And then if you wanted to, with your leftover, I did this ahead of time. 
you could pipe this mm -hmm. and then put it in the oven at like 150 degrees for a few hours. Ooh. And you can have these crunchy ones here. This is crunchy pieces? Yeah, so that's crunchy meringue. So we're gonna do a little oh. crunchy meringue on the top. Would it be um, wrong if I snacked on those the way I do with croutons? No, absolutely not. It's egg whites, right? So it's healthy. It's food. healthy. <laughs> it's healthy. It's really good. So these, um, you can kind of like either be handsy with it if you want to, or you can just like go around the just edge. Just dump them on. Yeah, because I think that there's some beauty in things kind of falling organically, personally. And these give me acorn vibes, yeah. which are like super fall friendly. Yes, yes. I, lo I love that, I actually. like this. <laughs> this is great. So those oh. are um, cinnamon. I just like added a little cinnamon to my base. Yeah. That looks so cute, doesn't it? I like that. Yeah. And then are these toasted seeds? Yeah, so those are actually <gasps> drajade pumpkin seeds. I'm nice. like, what how else can we kind of like bring more of the vegetable that we're using for the cheesecake into it? Yeah. So it's almost like a little fine dining-y because you wouldn't necessarily think to do it. And this I'm, looks so pretty. Right? It's like you can just kind of like have some fun with it and it looks super folly. So let's cut this up. I'm dying yes. to try a piece. It's so beautiful. Little tip here. Um, I would suggest actually like either if you don't have one of these at home using a hot wet knife. So okay. I like to kind of use a torch just because if you give your knife a little bit of a heat, it kind of like makes a cleaner cut. This might be my favorite dessert segment we've ever done. Right? Just lots of fire. Just lots of fire. <laughs> it's good for the holidays. Yeah. So I'm imagining a nice little glass of champagne with this oh, for dessert. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe a whiskey, maybe an old fashioned. Yes. I Endless opportunities style. here. I love your style. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so welcome. So, you know, just kind of like set it <gasps> up. Wow, that yeah. is perfect. Right? Like, I don't like it to be super stiff. So, no. if you wanted a stiffer cheesecake, you could whip your heavy cream a bit more. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, coming right out of the fridge, it's going to be a bit more firm. So. But the ooey gooey deliciousness like of this. I like a little ooey. Asia, thank you so much for having us out today. You're so welcome. This ends our Cooking with Como Thanksgiving special. I'll cheers with you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> have, oh, <laughs> fail. Have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. That was the best ending to the show I we mean, could ask for. Honestly. <laughs>